the goal for inpatient rehabilitation hospitals is to get the patient independent and home. For most patients in their acute care stay, uh, the inpatient rehabilitation hospital fits the bill best. I have access to medical resources in the inpatient rehab hospital that I don't have access to in a skilled nursing facility. Generally speaking, majority of our cases, you know, we have strokes and we have brain injuries, whether it's traumatic brain injuries, non-traumatic brain injuries, uh, we have spinal cord injuries, uh, we have neurological conditions such as multiple sclerosis and Parkinson's, cerebral palsy, uh, ALS, so you have really a variety of diagnoses. But we evaluate every patient individually because for them, uh, that particular condition might have affected them a little bit differently than somebody else. In acute rehabilitation stay, you have that personal physician that's always in charge of your care. And that's something that my specialty comes into play is that physical medicine rehabilitation. That's how I define myself to the patient and they understand that I'm gonna be there for all their needs, whatever it is, guiding the therapy, making sure that their, their condition is not flaring up on them, making sure we're addressing all the issues from overall general standpoint to get them home, to be independent, and uh, to be basically how they were before something happened to them. There is a real difference between between the frequency of care, the, the focus of the care, and I have access to consultants in an inpatient rehabilitation facility, which is huge. In every respect, the full complement of medical care is a hospital in an inpatient rehabilitation hospital as opposed to a, a nursing home with physical therapy. In acute rehabilitation stay, nursing care is one of the most important factors. So you have 24-hour nursing that cover all aspects of patient care. The ratio is pretty small in terms of nurse to the patient ratio. So you have really that specialized, personalized care with the nursing. There are subspecialty certifications for nursing that are rehab nursing certifications, which is really handy. They're going to be more qualified to handle wound care. They're going to be more aware of is the stroke on one side or the other and which side does the bed need to be on versus the commode so that the patient optimizes their positioning in the room. So all of that is critical for a certified rehab nurse and you see those in inpatient rehabilitation units, you do not see them in skilled nursing facilities. The patient has to undergo at least three hours of therapy a day, mixed between physical, occupational, and speech therapists. We accommodate the therapy individually. They're all registered therapists. They're all hands-on, and patient is getting multiple therapies a day. By the time uh, the day is done, you can really get some feedback in terms of how the patient is doing functionally, how they're doing you know, with physical therapy, occupational therapy, how they're performing uh, activities of daily living and things like that. We have the hands-on specialized care that subacute settings unfortunately do not have. In acute rehabilitation hospital, what we have is we have state-of-the-art technology. We have exoskeleton, we have the robotic arm, we have the ADL suite. We have all the technology available to the patients that will provide them the individualized care that will allow them to go home and be independent again. The capabilities of inpatient rehab in the gym and the equipment available and the advent of the high-tech stuff that's coming in that's so exciting is probably the, the greatest advantage over a skilled nursing facility as far as location. So when we're talking about disease-specific accreditation or acute rehabilitation, I think it's very important for the patient and for the facility itself because you have the ability to provide that care and you're credited by those commissions, meaning you've gone through step by step. They looked at your processes, they uh, evaluated your processes, they see that you're doing them appropriately and uh, you're gauging uh, the patient appropriately in terms of their recovery. Those accreditations are necessary for acute rehabilitation stay and unfortunately those uh, accreditations are not available in subacute settings. I think the most important aspect of inpatient rehab is to get the patient independent so that they can return home. That's not necessarily the goal at a skilled nursing facility. We now know from lots of studies that patients that go through an inpatient rehabilitation facility, they're discharged sooner, they stay home longer, they have fewer admissions to the emergency room or hospital readmissions, and they live longer. That's what I would be considering, and that's what I tell my families.